Good afternoon, right? Let's try it again. Good afternoon, South Bay. That is so that is so empowering. I love that. <laughs> yes. So obviously I am not Simon, so I am covering for him today. So we will go ahead and get started. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Our mission to provide agents with a place where they will be empowered, trained, and motivated to experience growth, wealth, and a legacy that allows them to live their best life possible. Our belief, when the values of your company align with your own beliefs, you know you found your professional home, Y or C to T. And then our vision, to achieve amazing professional and personal development so that KW South Bay remains the agency of choice. Right. Um, so I will just go ahead and give you guys the heads up. I tend to talk really, really fast and go through things quickly. So that is just me. So just a heads up. All right, Nat, next slide, please. So we want to give it up for our lunch sponsor, Sean Kirkup. That I say that I'm South Bay, the local manager, because um, I believe in small territory, so it allows me to be really involved um, with my agents and other clients. The agents that I work with um, are aware of that. I'm really super easy to get a hold of. My cell phone number is on the bottom of my flyer, so you can get a hold of me anytime. Um, really fast, nothing too much has changed as far as home warranty and coverages. We do cover systems and appliances for those who are not familiar with what we do cover. But I've also provided a flyer. It's super informative. It was designed actually just for me. I had begged them to give me a flyer that gives me the difference between home warranty and home insurance. Because I can ask the question often, what is the difference between home insurance and home warranty? Um, when I had to have this conversation, kind of the rule of thumb is home warranty covers systems and appliances in the home, like I had mentioned. Home insurance covers things like floods, acts of God, uh, trees falling through roofs, things like that. But anyway, here is the flyer that kind of explains it. If you guys have any questions, please feel free to give me a call. I'm happy to help and have a good meeting. Thank you for having me. Awesome. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. All righty, Natalie, next slide. All right, in honor of Veterans Day, we'd like to thank our veterans here with us, uh, Manny, Jim, Robert, and Leslie. We thank you for your services. <laughs> also, in observation of Veterans Day, uh, we will be closed um, on Friday the 11th. So the office will be closed. You guys can still have access to the building with your keys, but no staff will be there. Beautiful. Cool, cool. Cool. Next slide, please. Food drive. So uh, we are helping families in need. So please feel free to donate any non-perishable items. Uh, we do have a box at the front desk. We're collecting until December 14th. So examples, we have canned goods of any kind, oatmeal, grits, mac and cheese, any box items, any canned items, anything that will not go bad. So please feel free to donate. Um, you can also ask Colin for a copy of these flyers if you want to send out to your farm, your sphere of influence. Um, you can send that out as well. Cool. That's actually a great idea, a great touch. Yes, absolutely. Touch, yeah. All right, Natalie, next slide. I told you guys we're going to fly through this. <laughs> um, we are also um, doing a coat drive. So please join us in supporting our coat drive in honor of Hello Dean Gerhardt. Um, donating goes to Operation Warm Coats for Kids in Need a charity supporting underserved children throughout our community. You can drop off any new or gently used jackets. Um, they don't necessarily just have to be kid size. Um, it can be small adult size as well. So any jackets, bring them in. You can donate that at the front desk. We do have another box up there for that as well. And we are collecting that until uh, December 19th. Next slide, please. Productivity Coach, Productivity Update with Fred Howard. Hey, everybody. I'm trying to make a lot of work. I need to use it. I need to use it. Hello. You know what? <laughs> How are you all doing today? Yeah. That's great. Listen, I'm going to share a couple of things with you. One, we have an awesome class at 1.30 for the productivity class. 
Uh, so you want to stay, even if you're not a productivity student, you can still stay and enjoy it. Number two, productivity students are uh, doing a contest, a listing contest, listing leads and leverage. And the first place is if the tickets are found in reunion. is basically to get you guys introduction. Now I talked with Nick Baldwin on yesterday and we were talking about many of you are going through the 66 day challenge with command. There are two ways to get business. One, you can go through your uh, database and put them in command and start them on the neighborhood search. And then number two, advertising. You advertise via Facebook. One good thing that's awesome we get a chance, if I don't do it in class, we're going to do a webinar. For those that are on the, uh, that are in the uh, productivity class on how you can spend or invest $100 a month in Facebook advertising on a regular basis so that you can get people in your pipeline, okay? So my last thing I want to say is something that Ziggler, Zig Ziggler said. He said, if you're not willing to learn no one can help you. Exactly. Okay. If you're not willing to learn, no one can help you. But he went on to say, but if you're determined to learn, no one can stop you. Okay. So we're looking for people in this office that are determined to what? Learn. learn. Determined to what? Learn. And when you learn, you what? Earn. You earn, but what do you do? Bro, say it. Win. When you learn, you win. So how many winners do we have in here? All right. Thank you so much, Fred. All right. Next speakers we have with First American Title, we have Ben Phil and Grant Allen. Our first player is First American Title, Ben Phil. I think I said you okay. Oh, it's just like a ton of other people for them. <laughs> <laughs> My hair got hit with like a fan. Like, this is a must got to. I'll bring it back. Yeah. <laughs> got a lot of, lot of black for that. Uh, good afternoon, guys. I'm Ben Chu with uh, First American Title. And Allie, also with First American Title. Wow, what a surprise. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks, Ben. <laughs> So uh, we're going to share with you a little bit. I mean, we all, it's no surprise the market's uh, different from what it was six months ago. So we just kind of wanted to talk to you a little bit about some strategies that you guys can implement to really kind of uh, find your next deal and drum up some business for yourself. Uh, Grant's going to talk to you guys a little bit about what's in your sphere, and then we'll talk about, about what Fred was talking about with the social media. Yeah. So, um, you know, you guys are obviously aware of what's going on in your marketplace. Uh, rates are what they are, um, which creates a, which removes a section of the market of people that are opportunists, right? So you sla slash those people right out of the buyer seller pool. And what you need to basically focus on for the next, you know, year or two years is triggering events. But that applies to your sphere as well as it applies to triggering events inside your farm area or the marketplace that you're, you're marketing to. So inside, inside your sphere, you know, there is a lot of money inside your sphere. You don't know how much money you're not making by not hitting them up. And I know this, this nail has been hammered by plenty of classes that you guys do, but, you know, we have a lot of success stories uh, recently of people doubling down on their sphere. And every top agent will tell you that during the tough times uh, after 08 uh, and even before the other tough times back in, I believe, the 90s, I think it was. I'm not exactly sure. I wasn't really working there. But <laughs> Were you I, I was, I'm an 80s baby. I'm an 80s baby. Um, but but point is, is that's what got them through. The people that you already have relationship equity with are the are the people that you need to double down with. Um, and another thing to keep in mind is uh, in your farm areas, uh, there's a lot of people pulling back on their uh, on their marketing budgets. So, you know, the top agents are doubling down and I know it's hard if you don't have the funds, but we have some creative ways, which Ben's going to talk about uh, in a second with social media that you can maybe cut back on the print media since it has such a high cost and double down on social media and hit those exact same people. 
So, yeah. so with social, I mean, we all know with print media, you're looking on an average of about a dollar a piece uh, that's print, including mail, right? Okay. Someone or a few cents cheaper, someone a few cents more, but on average, you're looking about a dollar a piece. For social media, you guys can hit the exact same audience for a penny per person, okay? So that's a heck of a savings right there. So you can actually, you know, for what you mail out once a month, you can hit people up to 10 times that same month, the exact same people on social media, because uh, it's so cost effective, okay? Now, for those of you that have done social media ads before, I know what you're gonna say, and say, hey, Facebook limits me to a 15 mile radius, and you know those are 3.5 million people that I don't want to target. Well, talk to us because we can create you guys basically a custom audience, which is essentially your farm and the people that you want to hit, including your sphere and people within your database. And you can turn that into a custom audience that you upload into Facebook. And you would then tell Facebook, hey, these are the people I want to target. And you would only target these people. So for a thousand people, you're looking at $10. Target technically seven dollars because seventy percent of Americans have social media. So seven dollars. <laughs> <laughs> but but the reason why it's so important is is you know you're looking at these ads and and they don't understand that you're direct directly targeting them. They think they're walking by a billboard. The passive marketing where you're not hammering these people over the head is kind of a it's kind of a thing that really helps perception control of a your visibility within your marketplace. But B, that they can decide whether they like you or not. And they can decide whether they want to work with you. And anybody that's in your sphere alone is obviously rooting for you, even if it's tier two, three, and four. So this is a tool that you need to jump on. It's really easy. Um, and kind of you can grow it from there. As you pair your social media marketing with print media and other marketing vehicles where you stack them together, that is where you get the most uh, engagement. Yeah. It's exponential. And so. yeah, and within your farm, if let's say in the next six months while all the other realtors are pulling back on their marketing and you're li literally the only face that they see for the next six months on their social media advertising real estate, who do you think is the only name that they're going to remember? Right. Right. When they do, when it is time for when the market does pick back up in the other six months, eight months or whatever it is. So, so, so we typically suggest when you're picking a geographic area to give yourself a fighting chance, you need to choose a thousand records you know geographically speaking all right well it, what if every week you had a post that was specific educational which is the best way to connect with your people and you hit them every week your visibility over the course there's the eight what is the the eight by eight, 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 eight. Yep. they did that that test where it was someone where that wasn't even an agent they made up a fake profile and that person became was the the name that everybody knew after eight weeks so this is an easy way to do that. And as you're able to build your war chest of funds, you can start adding things. So we have reports and everything else that data points that you can use for your, that you can stretch out between different posts for that specific area. And you can do little videos and continue on with a very cheap, affordable way to do that. Um, so anyways, we really push this because it's so valuable. And the one thing about Ben and I is we don't tell you, we don't, we, a lot of title companies have a lot of tiny objects. But where's the substance? We will not push anything in your direction without us knowing that it does work. So this is something that needs to be a part of your business model going forward, especially for 23 and 24. So if you need any help, please let Ben or I know we're always around. And uh, yeah, thank you guys for having us. We'll thank you. Thank you. Awesome, awesome. All right, now we have Chris Rivera with Cross <laughs> All right, guys. First off, I just wanted to thank you guys for your for all those that attended last Thursday. That was uh, actually it surprised me. I didn't think that many people would be coming, um, but I realized that that one by now there had nothing better than this. Probably was the food, but it was the same as we had had today. So. Uh, obviously, that was good because it's it's on repeat. But after the um, after the seminar or the class, I was approached by Jennifer, and she said, "Wow, there was a lot of interest from the agents, and she could tell that you guys were really interested." In it. So what she asked me to do is to put together a seminar, but not just for you guys, but for your clients, much like we've done the first time homebuyer seminars, the down payment assistance seminars. 
but allowing me to talk to your consumers to explain what these buy downs are and how they can help them weather the storm with higher interest rates. Because the elephant in the room is we've got high interest rates, guys. And they're at about seven and a quarter, pushing seven and a half. We anticipate those getting to eight percent before year ends. Wow, that's that's kind of scary to even say it, but it's the reality, and everyone's forced with that, right? But how do we overcome those objections where the, the borrowers telling you, hey, those interest rates are too high, that monthly payment's too high? Well, these two one buy downs and three two one buy downs, some of you know because you came to the class, they help bridge the gap. So that it allows the seller to help with the mortgage payment to offset that high payment. So it makes it palatable for the buyer to be able to weather the storm for the, the market to come back to them and they can refinance into a lower interest rate somewhere down in the future. So it's going to be a great opportunity for you guys to get in front of your clients to let them know that you guys have a solution for the higher rates. Go back to your farms, the buyers that you guys have talked to over the last couple of months that have told you and expressed that interest rates are too high, they're going to wait. They're doing themselves a disservice if they wait. All they're doing is waiting themselves into lower interest rates, yes, but a huge buyer demand, which is going to uh, give them the same result that they had the last two years, where they were throwing offers out there and they weren't getting them accepted, right? Right now is a great opportunity to write the offers, at least have a, a chance at getting that property. And, and the thing I tell the people, and I've said it uh, a few times, you're going to marry the property and you're going to date the rate, right? Stop saying that. See, she <laughs> like that. That's her way of saying it's like Paris favor. So we are going to have a, a seminar. It'll be December 3rd, Saturday at 1030. Um, I have a flyer and that'll, can you go to the next screen? We have a flyer so that you guys can put your own face on it. Uh, Rock on. Uh, I don't think on now. Uh, according to Holland, but, but anyway, we do have a flyer that you guys can can put your information, your contact information. It's not my seminar to your clients. It's my seminar for you guys. All I'm doing is speaking and explaining what the program is. It's your seminar for your clients, so they can come in here and get the information. So hopefully, it'll just push them off the ledge, so they'll get into the the buyer market. It's just. One more thing I can add to you guys so that you guys can start off 223 strong. Um, I know we're, we're heading into the year and uh, end of the year, and most people are thinking now, what's my business plan for 2023? This should be something that's part of it, that you're explaining to your clients how this will help them get into a home, bridge the gap, and they can refinance into lower rates. So um, I guess it's not raising. Right. So they don't have a flyer, but you guys will get a flyer. We'll send out an email to the entire office to let them know. Um, as I touched on rates earlier, they are at about 7.5%. The feds did increase rates last weekend or last week, and that's what's really kind of pressured them to go higher. And they've also uh, had Burbage saying that they're probably going to do it again in December. So we'll oh. see another raise in short-term rates in December, further pushing interest rates higher. That's just the reality of it. That's why I think this program is really beneficial for you guys, not only to understand it, but get it out to your clients so that you can potentially get some other sales. So any questions? All right, that's it. Bye, All right. I think to kind of piggyback on that, that's a huge leverage piece for your clients, arming yourselves with that knowledge and arming them with the knowledge. How we're going to keep them right, yeah. so definitely take them up on that offer and, and get some clients in here for that. So Natalie, can you hit the next slide, please? We are just flying through this. You guys have any questions on anything? No, <laughs> no, goodness, should I slow down a little bit? No, <laughs> like, no just keep on going. Okay, <laughs> just finish it. <laughs> Awesome. So, um, upcoming events how do admirers work and their market with Brandon Lauder. Um, that is going to be Thursday, November 10th from 11 to noon. I'm um, going to be here in the training room. So be sure to be in attendance for that. Next slide, please. Thanksgiving potluck. Who's all coming to Thanksgiving potluck? Awesome. Mm -hmm. Everybody to sign up. <laughs> gotcha. I got the clipboard. We can go ahead and pass it around. Uh, if you guys have not already signed up for it, please feel free to go ahead and sign up. 
Um, it is November 16th. Yes, question. Oh, good. You just answered my question. Oh, oh man. Yeah, I was going to give me like a good question. I'll take like, time to explain. It's like a kidding. Um, so, yes, November 16th um, at 1 p.m. is going to be here in the training room. Um, let us know which vendors you'd like to invite. If you guys want to invite any vendors as well. So, please feel free to sign up. And I look forward to seeing you all there. Okay. Next slide, please. Vision board party. So we will be having our annual vision board party. It will be here. Um, it is going to be on Saturday, November 19th from 3 to 5 p.m. So if you're interested in doing the vision board, it will be um, hosted by Mina Cooper. Um, she is the trust and probate and divorce division. So please feel free to attend that. It is November 19th, Saturday. Yep. So RZP to her, um, this is her contact information. And just so you guys know, I'm not sure if you guys know, all of the flyers are right in front of my office. So please feel free to come by, take a picture, take a look. All the information will be there as well. Don't stress. All right, next slide. Holiday party. Our Christmas holiday party is going to be Friday, December 2nd uh, from 6 to 11 p.m. It will not be in the office. It's going to be at Common Space Brewery. Um, we have the address right there. It's in Hawthorne. Um, RSVP is required. So please, please, please do not wait till the last minute to RSVP. Uh, we would like to get a head count as early as possible so that way we can make sure we have enough refreshments and everything for everyone. Um, we'll have dinner, dancing, brews. Um, also, you get, now that's what I'm going to tell you, you get two free beers. Wow. Two beer tickets. What if free beer. Drink beer. Oh, we will also like have wine. Hey, can you hear me? Hello? Here. Oh. I'll be selling bottles of water. Right? <laughs> hey, great. Carlos, can you hear me? So it will be limited. So we recommend carpooling or utilizing Uber or Lyft or Farrah can just give everybody a ride. Which, you know, <laughs> come back up. Cool. Any questions on that? Hey, yes. Sorry, what time is the vision board party? The vision board party is three to five. Thank you. Yeah. Three to five. Here, and it's on a Saturday, yes. the 19th. All right. Awesome. Next slide, please. Is a holiday party. Um, it is for family as well. Just make sure you RSVP. Great question, Emily. Just make sure you RSVP um, so that way we can get an accurate head count. Hey, can you hear me? Yes. I don't think children are allowed in a brewery. Oh, children are not allowed in a brewery. <laughs> but the rest of the family. <laughs> Let me check on one and I will get back to y'all. If you want to bring All right. Listing pitches and buyer needs. Who has a listing they want to pitch? Yes. Come on up. <laughs> we got 30 minutes. <laughs> Dollars every month for me, so it is for water, gas, and fuel. At the pool, and I'm having what we have coming Sunday from two to five. So, yes, if any buyers that people are taking the same, my condo is still available on 23rd, that's the very too bad. I need to lower the price. I just have to find the 4D, so hopefully, we can get And there's one coming up, coming soon, it will be a six bedroom, three bathroom, being a pizza park in the club. So, I'll keep you posted. Oh, wow. So, where's this? Okay. Where's this? Can you share with us how you how you go about getting those lists? Yes, definitely. Okay, for the to bad, I will keep we had a common friend and then I made a comment on my client's um, posting. Then found me and said, like, Oops, I need her. Wow. That's one. And then the second, and the two bedrooms, two bath house, I want to be joined different Zumba classes. I don't know if you guys do Zumba, but I have one, like, you know, same age, and that's where I got her from. And also, I have, you know, some of the people who are 
but you know, you get no And then just the last one, um, because I refer from my um, um, my um, some mechanic, like auto mechanic. So yeah, he he was just like, okay, I have some money, you know, for you and everything. So this is actually the second decision we are giving. So we can meet very quickly. So are you telling me that talking to your sphere of influence is not going to be worse? <laughs> if you do the things, things will happen. Yeah. Look at that. I love it. I'm making green out. Who will have those missing or any buyer needs? Um, I have a new uh, listing in Manhattan Beach. Um, it is a teardown. Um, the lot will probably go for about two million. Um, take a lease at about one seventy five. So uh, if you have any builders, that'll be a good. How big do you sell Over seventy five hundred. So it's one of the larger lots, just in the um, some Penn Street, and then uh, a duplex in Lacey Park in LA. Uh, for about one point coming up in about two weeks. Okay. Awesome. Is that a bank control? I, I haven't checked all the details yet. But it, I mean, California is running control. So no, you have rent care, but you have rent control. Right. So I need to know which one. Yeah. Make sure you know which part. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> awesome. Yeah. Anyone to tell for any listings or buyer needs? Random, but I have uh, two listings in Bakersfield. So, if anybody has an interest in looking out there, let me know. I have a condo and I also have a single family. Oh. Um, next slide, please. Uh oh, this is the end of it. Okay. <laughs> Don't be mad there. Are we okay? Does anybody have any questions on anything? Yes. Never know that they were in the intern class, they got their license just recently. What did it say? Oh, it said a lot. It's a county preventory. Yes, absolutely. Congratulations. Welcome to the family. Officially. <laughs> she's been on all of her calls for how long? Three months now. About three months. She's been on all of the calls, the team meetings, the producer's mindset. So you name it, she's been there. And now she's officially licensed. So she is a king of the agent now. <laughs> Let's keep talking. We got 30 minutes. <laughs> I'm just finished. Um, this is that one. So, this 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 one. I told her Simon, she goes, I gotta meet him because I keep hearing his name. Yeah. <laughs> 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 We're looking to have a meeting. She wants to come over. <laughs> 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 I don't share that. I don't care about this. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. The culture here is absolutely yeah. amazing. Yeah. And you know, honestly, that's why I drive so far. Is for the team and for the culture of the environment. So yes, you have definitely got to have the main amazing team. So that is all that I have for you guys. Okay.